everyone, welcome to today's video. I am now standing up because I did a try on haul like this and I can actually, actually kind of like recording the video like that. So the only thing is I have my screen down there. So if I'm looking there, I'm checking if you can see what I'm showing you. But today we're here for this little basket, uh, well, box, whatever it is. Because I'm going to be doing a project pan and I did one last year so I'll link it up here uh, if you want to watch it. And I thought I didn't want to do one this year but I realized I still have a lot of makeup. I actually did a small declutter, well small, I did a declutter this year but I still have too much. Like, um, or more like I want to go through products in a good kind of a tempo and I don't want to waste it and I, when I look at my collection I would like to like every single product also if I talk funny excuse me but I have an ulcer on my tongue and it's very really painful so I might be talking a little bit weird anyway so I grabbed a bunch of products I would like to be working on for the rest of the year which is uh, still like you know five months okay so I back I grabbed one more product uh, anyway, so I'm going to be focusing on those products and this one uh, for the rest of the year. I'm going to quickly uh, talk you through it and also show you where I'm at. And if it's possible, I'm going to be marking the progress. If it's not, it's just going to be like little clips of, um, you know, how it's looking. Let's start with how to apply things. Let's start with this one. This is the La Roche Posay Antilios 50. Um, this is the SPF, but it's the tinted version. My problem is that it's uh, very dark. So, ooh, 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 ooh. and I just squeeze some. I have a white carpet underneath. <laughs> it's a very, very liquidy formula. And it's quite orange, which means I cannot wear it alone because I feel like I just look kind of funny. Mm, I'm just not tanned enough to be able to pull it off on its own. So I'm gonna try to be using it, uh, you know, underneath foundation. But the problem is, I don't wear that much foundation these days. I just prefer not to. For example, today I'm wearing foundation. That's because I'm recording. It's mostly on this I'm recording. I'm going to try to, to use it on its own, but I feel like I might need to wait a bit till I actually uh, have some tan on my body. So yeah, um, I heard really good things about it, but I also heard uh, mostly about the non-tinted version, and I think I would actually like to repurchase it in that version, because, but I did get it on a really really good promo, so I don't regret it. This one's a foundation and I'm gonna actually mark it. One sec. So here's where I'm at with this foundation, which is less than half. And the thing is, it's a little bit too orange for me, tiny bit too dark. And like I said, I'm just trying to not wear as much foundation. So I think um, I would like to purchase a next. It's gonna be BB cream and another foundation. But yeah, that's the uh, L'Oreal Infallible 20 hour fresh, 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Mine's in the shade 20 Ivory. So next step would be powder. And here I have Pierre Rene Loose Powder. Uh, I think I wanna do like close-ups of things that you can actually like look at. So I don't have much here. You're gonna be seeing it on a close-up right now. So it is really little left. Uh, but I need to try, I need to just use it up because it's probably again to the point where it should be in the trash because of the expiration date. But I do want to use it up. Then I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, uh, mine in, in the shade 001 Transparent. That's how it's looking. I will do a close up as well. And it's a good powder. Uh, I mean, it was all over YouTube and everyone loved it and still loves it, I think. But uh, for me, the packaging is a big minus because the, the lid breaks. It's just kind of flimsy and I think I found uh, something with better ingredients that I like better than this one. 
Then I have a bronzer. It's from the brand Vivo. It's the Beach Cruiser. Mine's in the shade 02 Cafe Creme. And it's a ginormous bronzer, but you kind of can see the pan in it. So I'm just kind of wondering when will I hit the pan. Oh, and also my goals for those things. Um, this use up. This use up, use up, use up. Here it's hit the pan because I've had this for a while and I can see there's a dent but I'm not going to be able to use it up in six months at all. If I hit the pan, I'll be happy to be honest because it's a really big pan, it goes a really long way so we'll see how it goes. Also it's very perfumed and it doesn't go away really. I've had it I think for a year and uh, it's still going strong. Here I have an Essence uh, Matte Touch Blush. Thing is, I don't wear blush, uh, but I have a few in my collection and how I would like to uh, use it, uh, again I'm going to do a close up, is as an eyeshadow. So again, I would love to hit a pan. Will I do that? I don't know, maybe my goal should be to get rid of the pattern that it has. Oh no, that's a valid goal. <laughs> so I would like to get my use out of it because honestly I've had it for a while. It should be probably on its way out of my collection but I really don't want to throw it out without like using it a bit more. Then I have an eyeshadow from uh, Wet n Wild, the color icon eyeshadow in Brulee. So I think the most famous one and that's how it's looking. I think I used up like two or three of those and I would like it to be my last one because they're not cruelty free unless um, something changed I don't know about it. Um, but yeah, it's a really good eyeshadow, like um, basic, nude, all over the lid based eyeshadow. So this is, uh, this is to use up, my goal is to use up. Okay, next level of products. So here I have the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. That's how it looks. That's the brush. And I'm pretty sure... Still smells okay. I'm pretty sure uh, it's on its way to be like finished. So I'm hoping it's gonna happen soon. So, I mean, I can't tra track the progress, but I will kind of... Um, no one's running out. And here I have something uh, a bit different for me. The Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in rosy and goldy number 31. So um, I don't really use eye pencils and again it's gonna be a close-up. So as you can see there's a lot of it left um, but I would like to try to use it in my waterline and maybe in a corner to try to use it a bit uh, well to try to in general to use it and see how it goes and if it actually stays put if it doesn't it's gonna probably get um, replaced and or just in general removed from my collection then we have an eyebrow uh, pencil kind of a thing this is from the brand lovely polish brand brows creator pencil that's how it looks uh, I'm actually making quite a good progress on this one uh, I actually have a small project pan going on on my Instagram. This is one of the things that's in there. And I'm actually enjoying it more than I expected. And it's quite a good product, product to be honest. Uh, it does say it should be only open for six months. It's more than that, for sure. Um, and I'm enjoying it. And it's still going strong. Alright, a couple of things left. Um, is it getting darker? I feel like it is a bit. It might be raining in a bit, so we'll see. And I'm almost done. So I showed you the... Sorry. So I showed you the brow uh, thing. Now to lip products. Uh, first one is gonna be... This one that I own for longer. This is the Inglot Lip Pencil number 17. Uh, to be honest, it probably should be in the trash, like I keep saying with things that I have here. 
but um, I do enjoy this lip product. It has a really nice color. I'm wearing it now mixed with a little bit of something else, but it's mostly this. And I just don't want to give up on it yet. It's quite, it's more of the drier side if you compare it to like a normal bullet lipstick. Mm, but I still like it. And as you can see, still quite a bit left. So, um, to be honest, if by the end of the year it's not like finished, it's just gonna go in the trash because you know, lip product, I should be paying more attention to the expiry date because uh, just you know, it goes on my lips. Uh, with powder product, I don't have that problem as much. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna try my best. Same story here, although this is not as old, but it was in an advent calendar and it was in 2020. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> this, this really should be in the trash, but I refuse to do that. Smell-wise, still okay. It's a lip liner from a Glam Shop. Don't know if you actually. Ooh, don't know if you're actually gonna be able to see any of the writing. I don't think so. But it's just a lip pencil in the color color. It's a Polish name called Ideal. Now it means perfect. It's supposed to be kind of like a perfect nude. Um, I do enjoy this color. That's why I'm actually keeping it. And I like the formula. So I would definitely buy something from them. Like. I am planning to do like a haul from them at some point, but that's probably gonna be for next year to be honest, because I have enough cosmetics, uh, like makeup at this point, I don't need any more. So yeah, um, but as you can tell, I have quite a bit of this one, so I'm gonna try to do my best to... I have quite a bit, not as much as I thought, because I used it, but yeah. Um, I'll do my best, like obviously with everything else. So I have 12 products in the Project Pan, which I think, considering we only have here, uh, we only have like half a year left, that's quite a bit. But um, we'll see. Some of them, uh, it's a pan, but obviously, honestly, most of them are to use them up, like the goal is to use them up. Once I do that, we'll see if I introduce something new. Uh, I'll just kind of have to see what kind of a product it is. For example, if I use up the foundation, um, I only have one other foundation that's like liquid foundation, and I don't want it up because it's literally just been open, so I don't have that much makeup like sitting around. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this intro. Um, I'm thinking to do it each two months because like every month there's not also not much. Um, I feel like there won't be enough progress to to show it but I feel like each two months we're gonna have like what three more videos maybe of this um, yeah and that's gonna be it for this one I'm sorry for I was speaking but like I said it's, uh, it's a bit painful to be speaking right now uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe not to miss my updates and let me know what you're using up uh, or what you used up recently I'm really curious so yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye